I've been thinking about autoimmune disease a lot, as, as I said before, and uh, you know, I love research. I, it's fascinating. And what I'm finding, interestingly enough, that a lot of acute conditions actually become autoimmune disease, like Lyme's disease is an acute uh, infection uh, from uh, ticks. And, but in its long-term effect, is, becomes an autoimmune disease and has to be treated as an autoimmune disease. The acute stage can be treated with antibiotics or anti-inflammatories, herbs, or whatever, but the long-term becomes different. We must then look at the long-term treatment and the protocols that go with that, functional approaches to that. The other thing is, for example, there is such a, a similarity between MS and chronic fatigue syndrome Chronic fatigue syndrome can be considered an autoimmune disease when it becomes chronic. Now, no one really knows why people get chronic fatigue, and we're not trying to solve that mystery. But what I'm trying to suggest is that if we treat it in its chronic state as an autoimmune disease, we're going to get much better results. Looking at it as a multiplicity of problems, inflammation, and depletion. It's amazing. You get excess and deficiency within the same disease. Anyway, just a thought. Think about it. Thank you.